What is going on, Ham Fam? Hope you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it's time you're watching this video. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today I'm just going to do a quick little rundown on what I did to my 2000 Silverado. All right, so as you know, I had a little project with this truck. Um, excuse me. Got it as a hunting truck salvage title. And I'm going to get back to that because I have found out recently something is wrong with it <coughs> suspension wise. Um, but yeah, this was a hunting truck used and abused but i only picked it up for three thousand dollars with um you know decent interior uh everything could be kind of you know redone i have 10 of the windows five percent and then 20 percent on the windshield and i do have a few odd in things like a double den apple carplay radio floor mats that need to be wiped down um and yeah leds obviously the basic stuff but as you can see i did wrap the truck uh black this is a vivid ultra gloss black it's one of their newer ones so it's really reflective as you can see in the uh panels just like paint um not much orange peel other than being on these uh spots right here where the panels weren't sanded down good enough and I was going to make a video of on getting these tires. These are $60 Nitto Trail Graps I found. And I've been riding on them for probably about two and a half months now. Um, found them on the side of the road. Some guy wanted 60 bucks for them, so couldn't complain. And I bought these uh, wheels, these LTZ Tahoe wheels, off of a old co-worker for about 300 I think. So, all in all, not a bad looking setup. I do have lift keys and that is where i found out my problem is on this truck um for some reason no matter how much i have tinkered with it or vice versa this side right here is ultimately way higher than the driver's side i've tried flipping the bars around um, getting forward lift keys which created too much tension they wouldn't work um tried the stock keys obviously new camber or new, new bolts replaced the upper control arms with stock upper control arms again um new tie rods etc and you know nothing is helping so um and then you go to the back i have no blocks in the rear and i have drop shackles as well so as you can see i have i don't know if it'll brighten up for you anyways there are drop shackles back there um and for some reason this thing still has two different measurements on the rear so I honestly think, now this is a, a new bed as well. It's a GMC Sierra bed that I got. As you can see on my uh, prepping video, I got this for, I think, $100 on Marketplace as well. Now this front is like maxed out. That is a maxed out key, lift key. And the other one is all the way backed out. And it is still taller than this one. So I have done, redid the shocks, everything. So I honestly assume the frame is slightly tweaked tweaked excuse me but it doesn't crab walk or anything like that while i'm driving down the road and it drives perfectly straight <sighs> i'm just pissed off with it honestly so honestly um these tires are getting a little worn down i was going to order some new tires um this coming week uh, the backs are probably about you know getting there they're not ultimately on the wear bars yet but they are really you know too low in my opinion and these front ones are kind of cupped from uh, misalignment use. So, what I plan on doing is getting some 33s coming down with the truck a little bit and then putting a flip kit on the rear so it's honestly a little bit lower in the rear but the front still has a good stance with those 33s. Cause no one really likes, I mean I don't really like squat per se, but a little lean doesn't look too bad in my opinion. Um, and it's not gonna be on wide wheels or anything like that. So I'm gonna keep these stock wheels and I plan on just putting the flip kit in the rear and then having the 33s and that'll give me, you know, pretty decent gas mileage, which it already does. Honestly, get pretty decent gas mileage. And I think it'll have ultimately a good stance. So my future plans with this truck is, obviously it's a daily driver. I drive this more than anything right now. I'm getting my real estate license I don't know if I told you guys that yet or not, but I'm about like 60 something percent done with my class. So I do plan on getting on out of line work here soon, hopefully within the next year. So I will need a car again. So I'm probably gonna keep this as you know my overall truck. 
and I have my Ford, which comes back Wednesday from the shop. I just called them last week, got some confirmation that it was in the booth. All the fiberglass work came out good, supposedly. So I really cannot wait to get that and do an install video on the SVC bumper back there and then the LP9 Amazon lights. Um, that's going to be a really good, really good look to that truck. It's going to be the most unique truck around here for sure and uh, super proud of that. But for this, probably just going to keep it on the stock wheels for now with some 33s like I said. Um, I did add the fog lights and they are functional. Uh, looks really clean. Blacked out the bow tie. Probably going to put a little billet insert in here and then, you know, call it done, honestly, because that's all I really want to do with this truck. But I'll insert some pictures here before and after. Um, I do think it turned out pretty good. Obviously, the wrap didn't come out perfect again. I do have some spots when you get up close to it. It has little crinkles here, a little piece coming up here. So I'm going to have to probably just, you know, cut that and patch it. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to have a piece peeling down here. You know, it's, just, it's a $3,000 truck with a $600 wrap job. So, really cannot complain. It looks really good, uh, especially from a mile back. <laughs> uh, this side was dented up way worse. I did a little body work, but I'm not no body work professional, obviously. It was dent right there, dent right there. Um, this bed was a little too far gone for me to try and fix, but it's it's just a little daily so it still looks really good in my opinion i did order the blacked out bumper on the back um the chrome tailgate handle and i uh, still running the uh dual one in two out uh, with gutted cats i plan on eventually doing motor work to this thing when i get my car so that way i can still have you know something kind of fun to drive uh can't beat these silver auto these round bodies cat eyes i just I love them. They run forever if you treat them right. And I did have to do the heater core in this. And I did uh, redo the AC system. So it has ice cold AC. Um, everything's charged up perfectly. Uh, heat works great now. Had to do um, the actuator on the bottom. So the uh, HVAC blend door actuator. And then I'm going to have to redo some wrap on this side. have a little piece right here that's peeled back from the sun. Um, other than that, this vi this Vivid doesn't stick well in these grooves for some reason. I preheated it, postheated it, laid it in perfect, and then some of it stays perfectly like this and that one. And then you got some panels that don't. So the whole tailgate actually has bubbles all in it down right here. So I'm going to have to just get a cut line right here and redo that. Not too worried about that. And the interior, like I said pretty stock has an old rip right there but everything else not too bad shape just got some new tailor-made qi10 uh irons uh or qis excuse me and some mg3 forged wedges and my uncle just hooked me up with a new tinsy stiff shaft uh, half carbon fiber for my driver so if you like golfing Put a comment down below if you do, you know, fuck with golfing because I love golf. Been playing since middle school. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, other than that, pretty stock truck. I would like to do the headliner here shortly. Uh, just black, not too fancy with it. Um, I have LEDs in the dash. You can see just little light blue LEDs. I'm going to redo the windshield and put a big strip on it. You know, clean up that look. I'm going to get Escalade door handles and just kind of kind of do some tasteful stuff to it. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd give you a little rundown, a little walkthrough of this Silverado that I had. And I think it turned out pretty great. If you did enjoy a little walkthrough or want to see me do anything special to this other than the long tube headers, uh, possibly a Trailblazer SS intake, stuff like that. Drop a comment down below what engine mods you'd like to see. I do have a aftermarket cold air intake, just a matte black one. Looks really clean. And uh, yeah, so this is the uh, 2000 Silverado project truck. I'd like to do some motor work to it while it's lowered so we can have some fun. But other than that, the Ford will be back in the picture here soon. So can't wait to show you guys that as well. Until next time, peace. I need the ice and cream.
nigga shit need a couple of jeans Same gang come with a glass of beans I be high and I'm fine on the scene Money bold and it buzz out of jeans Man, I need me a fat ass squeeze Hold a piggy, I'm sipping my lean And baby, it is what it seems I'm on a whole nother level for sure It made like I'm hitting the wood elbow They be snitching and bitching, I know that they told They be breaking the code, man, it's all about the bro. But I'm not in the game, I can't fuck with the hoes When I hop on the stage, they be ripping my clothes We gon' fucking record and I'm not gon' expose This is a letter that I never wrote Please believe me, baby Get on your knees and pay me Perking it 